In today's video, we will be giving viewers a quick overview of what we know about the second season of The Witcher. Who will be returning for season two? Will Yennefer and Geralt finally get the reunion? We will also be taking a behind the scenes look at some of the work that went into the graphics and stunts seen in season two of The Witcher. What kind of interesting creatures and characters are in store for us this season? Make sure to stick around to find out which big name has been added to the production team. Just in time for or the Christmas break. The Witcher television franchise is based on a series of books of the same name by Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski. There have also been video game adaptations and graphic novels made of the same series. The original television series that aired in Europe in the early 2000s was a great disappointment for Sapkowski, who was openly ashamed of the production. In 2017, however, Sapkowski teamed up with Netflix and they were scheduled to create a feature-length film. They were dissuaded by senior Netflix employees who were insistent that the volume of material available called for a television series. It is unclear how much influence Sapkowski truly had on the project, as there have been contradictory statements made on the subject. The first season was met with great enthusiasm by viewers and was renewed for a second season as well as a spin-off before the first season even finished airing. Fans have been waiting patiently for the newest installment in the series, and Netflix Netflix has decided to drop all eight episodes together for maximum binging this holiday season. Season 2 Predictions – What We Know The events in the second season of The Witcher are parallel with Sepkowski's novel, Blood of Elves. Fans were excited to see the teaser trailer drop back in July 2021. In the trailer, we see that Ciri and Geralt have united. As Destiny has foretold, the events that led up to this point were presented in a dizzying way, and the timeline of the first season jumps back and forth. It seems like for the most part of the new season will play out in a pretty linear way. Geralt takes Ciri on a long journey away from Sintra after the city is destroyed by Nilfgaardians. They travel to a sort of fortress called Kaer Moren, where we see Geralt greet some new characters warmly. The fortress has training equipment, and it looks like the folks who were waiting there for him are fellow witchers. We see Geralt hand Ciri a weapon weapon at one point, which means that she will be honing her combat abilities as well as her magical ones this season. The actress who plays Ciri, Freya Allen, enjoyed doing most of her own stunts and learning sword work in preparation for her fight scenes. One of the reasons why Allen has been able to play Ciri so successfully is because she feels a sort of kinship with the character. She has said that I mirror Ciri in regards to the fact that she's so eager to train and do most of the difficult things she can do and fight. She really wants to do more than she's allowed to yet, and that's essentially me. I'm like Siri. I want to do everything. Will Geralt and Yennefer unite this season? A couple months after the initial teaser, Netflix dropped a full-length trailer for the second season of The Witcher. In this trailer, we get confirmation that Yennefer is alive and well, so to speak, and will definitely be getting some screen time in season two. She appears to have been captured after the battle at Sintra, however, alongside some other familiar faces. At no point in the teaser trailer do we see Yennefer reunited with Geralt, so it's possible that he may think she's dead for the majority of the new season. However, they have been spotted filming scenes together during production of season two. Fans everywhere are absolutely dying to see them back together again. Tissaia appears to be making a comeback in this season, and the relationship between her and Yennefer after the Battle of Sintra has been been significantly altered. She has come a long way from referring to her as Piglet in a sneak peek released by Netflix. We see the two women having a serious conversation. At one point, Tissaia embraces Yennefer, calling her a hero for the power she displayed fighting the Nilfgaardians. Talk about some major character development. The Witcher game's influence on the new season. Most of the second season of The Witcher takes from the Blood of Elves novel, but there are elements that are directly inspired by some of the video games. One element in particular is the obstacle course found inside the walls of Kaer Moren. It is used by the Witchers to train and develop their skills. It is a gorgeously crafted, functional set piece. The swinging pendulum 
pendulums and balance beams are reminiscent of dungeon crawler and adventure games. Another aspect of this season, which was taken directly from the Witcher 3 video game, is the Whispering Hillock. We will talk more about the creatures we will be seeing this season in just a second, but at this time it's unclear what the role of the Whispering Hillock will be in season 2. The Witcher 3 game, this tree is determined to basically kill an entire village and steal their children, so it should prove to be an interesting storyline arc. If you're interested in finding out which big name has been added to the production team, make sure to keep watching. What kind of creatures will we be seeing in Season 2? The new season appears to have a significantly larger budget than the first. There are multiple examples of some really well done graphics, especially the ones that bring the creature characters to life. This season, we will certainly see our heroes battle some exciting new enemies. Some of these characters are humanoid and are played by actors where wearing facial prosthetics and costumes. In the trailer, we see Ciri and Geralt come face to face with a giant animated tree. This is the Whispering Hillock, and it's actually a demon that's been trapped within a tree. When elements are to be added post-production, it often requires some sort of physical object or scaffolding to help the actors film a believable interaction with these non-existent elements. Onlookers had reported that the crew had set up a massive piece of equipment for Henry Cavill to fight during the filming of season 2, so we're definitely looking forward to the episode. In the teaser trailer, we saw Geralt getting swooped by some sort of flying creature, which is difficult to see in the dark. We know now that there will be vampires in the second season, and this is probably the bat form that some vampires take. Another individual can be seen that looks like a sort of boar-like creature, although this character appears to be friendly. The Witcher, Blood Origin. Aside from a second season, fans of The Witcher series can also look forward to a whole new spin-off called Blood Origin. The official release date of Blood Origin is still to be determined, but the project is well in the works. The screenplay has been finished since spring 2021, with the production team dropping hints on Twitter alongside photos of the first drafts of the series. We know that The Witcher Blood Origin will be set 1200 years before the events in The Witcher. It's centered around the conjunction of the spheres, a supernatural cataclysm which has impacts that would last many years into the universe. We will get to see how the conjunction of the spheres affected the ancient elves and their relationship with, with other species. Tensions mount amongst races as they clash, which ultimately lead to the destruction of the elves. Shang-Chi star Michelle Yeoh will be joining the cast in this new series. She played Skyan, the last member of the clan of Deadly Elf Travelers. Yo's involvement in the project was exciting news to many, as she is a powerhouse who is best known for doing her own fight scenes. Toss a coin to your Witcher. One of the best parts of the Witcher series is how Netflix has managed to make it a fantasy series with horror elements, as well as some lighthearted comic relief. Jaskier the Bard is probably one of the best examples of this. He he follows Geralt around, singing songs about the world they live in and the various adventures they go on. One of the songs, Toss a Coin to Your Witcher, became an immediate hit. Its extreme catchiness is due to the combination of folk and pop styles. A quick search online will lead you to multiple covers and remixes of the song, including some heavy metal and piano covers. One of the composers who wrote the song has surprisingly been replaced for the second season. Joining the team this time around will be Joseph Trapanese. Trapanese first started working on films when he collaborated collaborated with Daft Punk to compose a soundtrack for Tron, which is arguably the best part of that whole movie. He has since worked on a number of films and albums, and is currently working on another one of Netflix's fantasy series, Shadow and Bone. Are you excited as we are for season 2 of The Witcher? That's all for today. Thanks for watching.